What's up, internet sequelers? Today we're going to take a look at how mismatching your data types can negatively impact the performance on your SQL server. So here's a situation I've come across pretty often. I've added an index to a column that I'm you know, filtering on in the predicate of a SQL query, and it should be you know, working fast. It's a basic query, it's a basic filter, uh, and it's just not running quickly. For example, I've got this table of coffee beans and prices. I like to roast my own coffee beans, um, so I'm always kind of keeping track of what's on sale, what's a good deal. And I'm gonna add an index to the price column of that table uh, because I know that's what I'm gonna be filtering on. After I've added my index, I write my query to basically filter on any coffee bean prices that are less than 675. Now even though this is a simple query and it's a small amount of data, I still expect that index that I created to get used. If I run my query and then look at the execution plan, you know, it's funny because a table scan is happening. Why is SQL Server choosing to do a table scan when I've created this index on the column that I'm filtering on? At first glance, that doesn't really make a lot of sense. Why is that happening? If we go ahead and take a closer look at what's happening by looking into the details of our table scan, we'll notice at the bottom there it says convert implicit, right? It's having to convert our price column to a numeric data type. What does that mean? So the one thing I didn't mention is that the price column on this table is actually a var card data type. It's a string. That doesn't really make sense since prices are typically numbers, so you would think it would be you know, a decimal or even the money data type in SQL, but somehow this got set to a bar card. In order to be able to do comparisons, SQL Server needs data types to match on both sides of an operator. If that doesn't exist naturally by, you know, the parameters coming in being typed correctly or the columns in a table being typed, you know, the same as whatever you're comparing it to, SQL will do what's called an implicit conversion. Microsoft's built this handy table of every data type to every data type, whether it can be converted, whether it can't be converted, and if, if SQL will do that conversion automatically if it needs to in order to be able to compare values of different data types. Now what you'll see is there's lots of little orange circles there, meaning that SQL will do a lot of implicit conversions if it has to to be able to compare different types of data. And so what's happening in our coffee query here specifically is that since it can't compare my numeric 6.75, to all the string varcar prices in the table, it's going row by row and converting each varcar 5 price to a numeric so that it can do a comparison. It's doing that for every row in the table, which is why we get a table scan. When a convert implicit happens to the value side of a query, right, let's say it was actually happening to the 6.75, it's not that big of a deal because it's only happening once. SQL Server only has to do that conversion a single time and then it compares that one value we've provided to all the rows in the table. It's not a big deal. This scenario in particular is so detrimental because it's having to convert every single value in that table for every single row in, a, in order to be able to compare them all. Two basic ways we can fix this. The first is to actually fix the data type in the table, right? We know this is a price. This should be some kind of number, numeric data type. Um, it shouldn't be a var car. If we fix that, everything else will take care of itself. If for some reason we can't do that, maybe we don't have access, or maybe this is vendor data, or anything like that, our solution is to actually take the value we're comparing, the 6.75, and transform it to the same type of data type that's in our table, which is, in this case, var car, so it's a string. We could just throw some quotes around it. Since both sides of the operator, both the column and the table and the 675 are now string data types, SQL doesn't need to do an implicit conversion and our execution plan shows that we're getting an index seek. SQL can just go to those values immediately. Having these kinds of mismatched data types can be really bad for your SQL Server performance. Um, you know, obviously now that you know about this, you can do a good job being proactive about making sure your data types don't mismatch when you're writing queries so that indexes can be used. But if you want to take a look at if your whole server, you know, if there are any other issues like that on your server, and there probably are, it's a great script from Jonathan from SQL Skills um, that I've linked to below, which will actually go look at all your um, cached execution plans, searching for any of those implicit conversions that are happening on the column side of the, uh, the table there. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe below. And I'll see you again next week with more SQL tips. Thanks.